Hello everyone. Wanted to show you, I'm going to start my churn dash tomorrow, but I decided to get my Janome out and I thought I got it all cleaned up and set up and I thought I'd show you a few things about this machine. Not only does it embroider, but it also sews in pieces. So I wanted to show you how it functions and a little things. I've already set it up threaded it, wound Hold on. I'm getting used to my new tripod I've wound three bobbins as you can see with the fourth in there I also keep my pack of needles. I'm using a Gross Beckard Universal 80 with this project. So I always keep my needles by my machine here so I remember what I'm sewing with so if there's ever a problem and then I also have my thread snips over here in the corner. This is a little pair of Kai embroidery scissors straight no bent edge. So these are ready for me to use. So we'll go through the menus right now and then I'll show you a little bit of the test stitching. I have not stitched it. I've only wound bobbins, changed the needle, and put on the AccuFeed foot and threaded it. That's it. So we'll go through the menus now and I'll show you what makes this machine special for quilting and embroidery. So we go to the t-shirt menu which is your stitches and you can see blind hem, rolled hem, gathering, but if we go to the next page we'll have basting, button, tracking, patchwork, quilting. We want the patchwork and then we don't want a self-locking seam, we just want a straight stitch. So we're going to pick this one and it sets the machine automatically. Now here is what makes this special. It has set the needle automatically to a quarter of an inch. Now I go to my okay oh, I guess it's no that here yes here it is so I want to set this and see my fabric guide moves over it's set in millimeters now and six millimeters is basically a quarter of an inch it's 6.355 so I come down here and I go to six and then I want point two three because six point three five is a quarter of an inch so we press OK and now I have my fabric guide with a edge against my walking foot with my needle moved over and everything is set to a quarter of an inch and then I can fold a piece of fabric I'm just going to fold my little test fabric and then when I put it under here I always sew to begin with about 50% of the speed and then we go and this one the foot automatically goes down we get to the end we press our and then the patchwork is if I'm doing piecing I can say yes I want to continue with the same size it will sew the exact same number of stitches every time but since this is testing I'm just going to say no I'm going to press my scissors and here we go we have a perfect quarter of an inch seam from the edge on both sides That is a Janome, this is a Janome Horizon MC12000. Her name is Nico. 
So if you ever hear me saying bad things about Nico, then you'll understand. I just wanted to show you this and see we can go here I'll fold it again and I can go here and set my position down in the hover and then it will go okay then I can push my needle down and then that gives me my perfect starting place for my edge is my needle my guide is set to a quarter of an inch and then I just press and it pops down and it sews away using the AccuFeed walking foot. Get to the end, press scissors, it will pop up and there we go, another perfect quarter inch seam. I hope this you like this tomorrow I'll show more I'll do a little bit of the churn dash I wanted to get my machine because it's been packed up for months I needed to clean it and get it thread and make sure it works correctly I hope this helps talk to everyone later bye